From unlikely companions to heroic rescues, these stories will have you reaching for the tissues one moment and laughing out loud the next. Because who says humans can't be best buds with other species? These animal friendships are sure to make you want to hug your pets a little tighter tonight. So get ready to be inspired and entertained as we dive into the wonderful world of cross-species camaraderie. From the man with a terrifying pet to the tragic bond between a man and his elk. Here are the best 20 friendships between humans and animals. Number 20. Man and Crocodile In today's first story, we have a tale of friendship that would make even the most cold-hearted person crack a smile. This story involves a fisherman, a crocodile, and an unbreakable bond that formed between them. When the fisherman rescued the crocodile, he never expected to become best buds with a creature that's known for its razor-sharp teeth and aggressive behavior. But it seems that the crocodile had other plans in mind. The two of them became inseparable and even performed tricks together. Can you imagine a crocodile doing tricks? What next? Will it learn to ride a bicycle? Some think that a crocodile and a human can't be friends, but this duo proves them wrong. The fisherman's kind-heartedness and the crocodile's gratitude proved that even the most unlikely friendships can form. Who knows, maybe one day we'll see more unconventional animal friendships like a giraffe and a goldfish or a kangaroo and a koala. Until then, we'll just have to enjoy the heartwarming friendship between a man and his crocodile. So are you ready to see the crocodile's latest trick? Have you ever formed an unlikely friendship with an animal? And we think you better like and subscribe if you don't want a gang of bike riding crocodiles to show up and scare you senseless. Time for the rare topic. Imagine being so talented that you could sing a lullaby for an elephant and put it right to sleep. That's exactly what one woman in Thailand can do. Lek, a caretaker at the Elephant Nature Park, has a beautiful voice that can put even the largest pachyderm to sleep. Yep, this woman sleeps with elephants every night until the doctor shows her what's inside. And what is inside exactly? Love and a whole lot of cuddling. Every time Lek sings, seven-year-old Fa Mai falls into a deep slumber. It's like he's saying, I love you, Lek. Your singing makes me safe and comfortable. And who could blame him? After a long day of snacking on grass and exploring the park, nothing beats a good nap. Plus, Lek's voice is so soothing, it could put anyone to sleep, including a 6,000-pound elephant. Have you ever sung a lullaby to an elephant before? Would you like to visit the Elephant Nature Park in Thailand to experience this beautiful moment with Fa Mai and Lek? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19, the real life Mowgli. This French girl was practically raised by animals. And no, we don't mean her mischievous little brother. <laughs> Tippy spent her childhood roaming around the African savanna playing with cheetahs, hugging bullfrogs, and even riding on the back of a five-ton elephant whom she called brother. Can you imagine having a sibling that big? You'd never have to worry about losing them in a crowd. But Tippy was no ordinary animal whisperer. She played with lion cubs, giraffes, crocodiles, and even a sneaky little mongoose. If you're a fan of the Lion King, you'll be jealous of Tippy's childhood for sure. Of course, growing up in the wild has its drawbacks. Tippy contracted malaria and had to be airlifted to a hospital. But that didn't stop her from continuing to live her wild adventures. Tippy is now an adult, but we're pretty sure she still misses the days when she could chill with a cheetah and call it just another day in the African savanna. Number 18. Woman Rescues Ostriches Breaking news from the world of ostriches. The ostrich whisperer has been reunited with her beloved bird, Flodder, after a seven-month separation. The heartwarming reunion was full of emotions as the two locked eyes and shared a moment that only a human and ostrich could understand. Wendy Adrians, the owner of the third-year-old male bird, had to make the tough decision to move Flodder to an ostrich farm after he tried to mate with one of her female ostriches, Blue, in a rather violent way. Let's just say things got a little too wild in the barnyard and Blue wasn't having it. But Flodder didn't settle into the herd at the ostrich farm and Wendy couldn't bear the thought of her beloved bird being unhappy. So she obtained more land for her own farm and brought Flodder back home where he belongs. When asked about the reunion, Wendy declared, I feel complete. And we're sure Flodder feels the same way. Although he's not one to express his feelings in words, he'll probably just strut around, fluff his feathers, and give Wendy a knowing look. All we can say is, love knows no boundaries, not even when it comes to ostriches. Number 17. Owner loves his venomous centipede. 
In today's news of things you should never do, we have a story of a biology student in Taiwan who decided it would be a great idea to let his Peruvian giant centipede crawl all over him. Yes, you read that right, a giant venomous centipede. Neil Cheng Lei, the 26-year-old owner of the Creepy Crawly, bought the 17-inch female in 2014 when she was just a fraction of her full size. And now, he proudly shows off his exotic pet as she scurries all over his Body. We don't know what's more alarming, the fact that he owns a giant centipede or that he loves letting it crawl all over him. Ugh, it's almost like he's asking for a painful death, but hey, who are we to judge? Maybe he's just trying to make some new friends in the animal kingdom. We hope Neil knows what he's doing because a bite from that thing could put him in the hospital for days. And it's not like they have a centipede-sized hospital gown. If you're thinking of getting your own giant venomous centipede, we suggest you think again. Stick to dogs and cats, folk. They may not have as many legs, but at least they won't leave you feeling like you're covered in crawly things. Number 16. Woman plays guitar for a cow. Move over, Taylor Swift. There's a new guitar playing sensation in town, and her name is Louisa Willers. Louisa is not just your ordinary guitar player. She also happens to be an animal whisperer. And her latest musical muse is a cow named Joachim. Joachim and Louisa's musical rendezvous occurred at the Santuario Amor que Salva, a farm that specializes in rescuing and rehabilitating animals in Brazil. As Louisa serenaded the lovable bovine with her soothing tunes, Joachim couldn't resist the sweet sounds of the guitar and snuggled up to Louisa, almost falling asleep in her lap. This wasn't a one-time event, folks. Apparently, playing the guitar for the animals at the Santuario Amor Que Salva is a regular occurrence, and the animals can't seem to get enough of it. The farm's Instagram page is filled with videos of other animals enjoying music, including a horse that appears to be nodding its head to the beat of the guitar. It looks like Louisa and her guitar have a new audience in the animal kingdom. And if you're ever feeling down, you might just want to grab your guitar and head to your nearest farm. Who knows, maybe you'll end up with a snuggle buddy of your own, like Joachim the cow. Number 15. Lion gives his owner a hug. Lions may be known as the kings of the jungle, but that doesn't mean they can't be soft days. Case in point, the video that's been taking the internet by storm, featuring a man getting a hug from a lion. Don't worry, folks. This isn't a case of man versus beast. In fact, this heartwarming encounter was the result of Kevin Richardson's work as a wildlife conservationist who has been working with lions for over two decades. In the viral clip, Kevin unlocks the gate to the lion's enclosure, and the big cat, who's apparently very fond of her human friend, jumps up to give him a giant hug. It's a sight to behold. A 400-pound lion standing on her hind legs, wrapping her massive paws around Kevin's waist. But don't let the adorable hug fool you. These are still wild animals we're talking about here. Kevin knows better than anyone else that lions are powerful creatures, and he spent years learning how to communicate with them on their level. So next time you see a lion, don't be afraid. Or maybe be afraid? Okay, but just remember, they might be more interested in giving you a big hug, grateful hug, than taking a bite out of you. Number 14. Man plays with a deadly king cobra. Have you ever wanted to cuddle with a venomous snake? No? Well, Christopher Shannon from Southern Thailand would beg to differ. He's been taming his pet King Cobra, a spire, for eight years and has no qualms about snuggling up with the deadly serpent. In a video that's sure to make your skin crawl, Shannon can be seen affectionately pecking a spire on the chin. But don't worry, he knows what he's doing. Shannon claims that he and Aspire have a mutual trust. As long as he doesn't hurt the snake, the snake won't hurt him. Easy peasy, right? Now, some might say that playing with a king cobra is a bad idea. And they wouldn't be wrong. These slithery creatures are responsible for thousands of deaths every year in Southeast Asia. But Shannon isn't worried. He knows that he's not on the cobra's menu, so he's safe. Let's just hope Aspire doesn't change his mind about that. In conclusion, if you're ever in Southern Thailand and come across Christopher Shannon and his king cobra, you might want to keep your distance. Or if you're feeling brave, give Aspire a little chin peck of your own. Just kidding, please don't do that. Number 13, elk and man hanging together. So it's a peaceful day at the park, birds chirping, the sun shining, and a majestic elk casually strolling around. Suddenly, a photographer approaches with his camera, hoping to capture some beautiful shots of the wild creature. But alas, the elk had other plans in mind. In a shocking turn of events, the elk charges towards the photographer, attacking him with its sharp antlers. The man tries to act submissively, but the elk won't back down. It's a scene straight out of a horror movie, except this is real life. Sadly, the elk had to be put down by rangers because it couldn't be, quote, retrained to be fearful of humans, unquote. This just goes to show that we need to respect the boundaries of wild animals and not invade their space. 
We can only imagine how the photographer must have felt saddened and speechless. He witnessed the consequences of his actions. Hopefully, this serves as a cautionary tale to all those who want to get too close to nature. Remember, folks, keep a safe distance from wild animals. And if an elk charges at you, run like the wind or risk becoming a head-mounted trophy in an elk's drawing room. Number 12. Toddlers live with cheetahs. In South Africa, having wild cheetahs as household pets is just another day in the life for the Schumann family. That's right, two cheetahs named Drew and Bowie play with the Schumann toddlers like they're oversized house cats. And it's not just a one-time thing, but a daily occurrence in their home. The cheetahs even take car rides with the family, although they haven't yet been taught to wear seat belts. Let's hope the family doesn't get pulled over by the local law enforcement anytime soon. But don't worry, the unique relationship between the Schumann children and their furry friends is being documented in a new film called Cheetah House. So if you're looking for a new idea for a reality TV show, here's a pitch, keeping up with the cheetahs. In all seriousness, though, it's incredible to see the bond between these wild animals and the Schumann family. Just remember, if you're thinking about adopting a cheetah as a pet, make sure you have a big enough litter box, okay? And maybe invest in some extra strength scratching posts. Now, here's a question for you. Would you be brave enough to let a wild animal play with your toddler? And do you think Cheetah House will be the next big hit reality TV show? Number 11, Diver Friends with Tiger Shark. Jim Abernathy is no stranger to sharks, but he has a special bond with one tiger shark named Emma. These two have been dive buddies for 20 years and are practically fast friends. Emma loves to get close to Jim, sometimes rubbing up against him in the water. She's often seen following him around on his dives and the two seem to have an unspoken understanding. However, when the pandemic hit, Jim and Emma were forced to spend a year apart. It was a hard time for both of them, but they managed to stay connected through video chats and Zoom calls, probably Emma was especially sad and often moped around in the ocean looking for her human friend. Finally, when travel restrictions eased up, Jim was able to reunite with Emma in the water. It was an emotional moment as they swam together once again. Emma even brought Jim some gifts, a few fish and a jellyfish to show how much she had missed him. It's clear that Jim and Emma have a unique and loving relationship, proving that even the deadliest predators can have a soft spot for humans. Who knew a tiger shark could be such a good friend? Number 10, a friendship with a hippo. In Africa, they say, if you see a hippo, you should run for your life. But not in the case of Jessica the hippo, who breaks all the rules and lives with humans like a true boss. Tony Joubert, a game warden, found Jessica washed up by flood water when she was just a day old. Fast forward seven years and she's still hanging around with Tony and even treats him like a fellow hippo. I don't know whether she sees me as a hippo or sees herself as a human. All I know is that um, there's a fantastic bond that I've never had with any other animal my whole life, Tony said. Jessica spends her days sunbathing and cooling down in the water while Tony and his wife provide her with refreshments twice a day. She even has afternoon snacks with the dogs. Talk about living a life of luxury. Some may say that having a hippo as a housemate is dangerous, but Tony doesn't seem to mind. After all, it's not every day that you get to have coffee with a hippo. Just make sure to bring a strong cup because weak coffee won't cut it with this big girl around. You can catch more of Jessica's shenanigans in the documentary called Jessica the Hippo. Number nine, this woman loves tigers. Move over Garfield, there's a new cat in town and it's a 600 pound white Bengal tiger. Meet Saber, one of Janice Haley's beloved pet tigers. Who needs a house cat when you can have a ferocious predator as your furry friend? Janice isn't afraid to let Saber and his 400 pound Bengal tiger pal, Janda, cuddle up close for a nap or even playfully wrestle with her. Janice Haley from Orlando, Florida has a love for these tigers that might make you question her sanity. But when you see the playful bond between them, it's clear they have a special connection. Janice says that raising tigers is no different than raising a child. It's all about love, and respect. Sure, Saber might accidentally rip your arm off in a playful hug, but that's just his way of showing affection. With two pet tigers to feed and care for, it's no wonder Janice has gone through over 50,000 pounds of meat per year. That's a lot of meat, but Janice says the joy and love her tigers bring her are worth every penny. Move over, crazy cat lady. Janice Haley is the new queen of the feline world, and she's not messing around with her meat and all that. Number eight, friendship between a sloth and a baby. If you're feeling down and need a dose of cuteness to brighten your day, then look no further than the friendship between baby Alia and Daisy the Sloth. These two have a bond that could melt even the coldest of hearts. Alia was just two days old when she first met Daisy, and they've been BFFs ever since. They do everything together, from cuddling to reading to sharing toys. They even have matching headbands. <laughs> That's right, folks. It's the ultimate hashtag friendship goals. 
Now, you might be thinking, but sloths are slow. How can they keep up with the baby? Well, fear not, because Daisy is a sprightly little thing. She might move at a snail's pace, but she's got plenty of energy for playing with her tiny human pal. This heartwarming friendship is a reminder that love knows no bounds, not even between species. And let's be real, we could all use a little more sloth in our lives. <laughs> so here's to Elia and Daisy, the cutest duo to ever grace our screens. Just don't be surprised if you find yourself weeping tears of joy at the sight of these two. It's a totally normal reaction, we promise. Hashtag Sobmoji. Number seven, man who lives with wolves. In a world where some people might raise their eyebrows if you call them a wolf, Sean Ellis not only embraces this moniker, but takes it to a whole nother level. When he came across three abandoned wolf pups, Ellis decided that the best way to ensure their survival was to become one of them. Yes, you heard that right. He would now live, eat, and even howl like a wolf. And no, he wasn't part of a werewolf cult. He was simply determined to help the little wolf pups survive and thrive in the wild. Sean Ellis's unconventional approach to wildlife preservation is the subject of a National Geographic documentary called A Man Among Wolves. In it, we get to see Sean in his furry element eating raw meat and walking on all fours like his lupine brethren. He even goes so far as to create a special wolf den in his backyard, complete with cozy bedding and live prey for the wolves to hunt. If you're thinking that this all sounds a little crazy, you're not alone. But the results speak for themselves. These once abandoned wolf pups are now thriving in the wild, and Sean has earned the respect and admiration of his furry pack. So if you ever see Sean howling at the moon, don't worry. He's just hanging out with his wolf buddies. Number six, friendly fox becomes a household pet. Move over Lassie, there's a new loyal furry friend in town, and it's not a dog, but a fox. Meet Cropper, a wild-born fox who was taken in by Mr. Trowler after he was found outside a hairdresser shop in Kent, England. Cropper may have had a rough start, but with the help of Trowler, he's living the life of luxury. Unlike the typical fox, Cropper loves taking long walks with his human companion, and he's always happy to trot at Trowler's heels or walk on an extended leash when they get into town. He's even become a bit of a celebrity in his country, where people are known to view foxes with suspicion. Trowler believes Cropper can help people understand and appreciate their counterparts in the wild. What's unique about their relationship is the patience and trust built over time. Cropper may behave more like a domestic dog than a wild creature, but that's because Trowler gained his trust and nursed him back to health. Now, he's a loving and loyal companion who's sure to steal your heart. Number five, Fuzzy Bat grows up to be a muscle man. A tiny bat no bigger than the palm of your hand is getting ready to take off for his first flight. His eyes are wide with excitement, his wings are flapping like crazy, and his little bat heart is racing with anticipation. Meet Ronan, the newest addition to Bat World Sanctuary in Texas. Born to a mother who didn't want him, Ronan was taken in by one of the sanctuary's caregivers who became his surrogate mother. And boy, does she spoil him. In a heartwarming video, we see Ronan taking his first flight. The little guy is absolutely giddy with excitement as he flaps his wings and takes off into the air. It's not hard to root for Ronan. Watching him fly is like seeing a baby take their first steps. You want to cheer him on and give him a big round of applause. And who knows, maybe one day Ronan will grow up to be the Batman we all deserve. But until then, we'll just have to settle for watching him fly around Batworld Sanctuary, the happiest little bat in Texas. Number four, man has a hyena dog mix. In a strange twist of fate, a Cuban man has become the proud owner of a rare and unusual pet, a hybrid of a hyena and a dog. The man, whose identity is unknown, has been seen walking his furry friend on the streets of Havana, much to the shock of passers-by. The origins of the animal are a mystery, with many speculating that it may have escaped from a nearby zoo or been smuggled into the country illegally. But whatever the case may be, it's clear that his unusual pet has found a loving home. The man insists that his pet is friendly and harmless. Regardless, the sight of this unusual creature roaming the streets is sure to turn heads. One can only imagine the reaction of neighbors when they saw the man walking his unusual pet. Hey, nice dog you have there, they may have exclaimed before doing a double take and running away in terror. Perhaps it's not so surprising that no one knows how the animal got there. After all, it's not every day that you see a hyena dog mix wandering around the streets. Number three, a man and his pelican. 
It's not every day that you see a pelican perched on someone's shoulder. But for Jeffrey, that's just another day in the life of being best friends with Big Bird, the pelican. It all started when Big Bird got separated from his flock during a storm, and Jeffrey, being the kind-hearted manager of a safari camp, decided to take him in. At first, Big Bird was a bit of a fish out of water, but with Jeffrey's help, he soon learned the ropes of camp life. The pair quickly became inseparable, fishing together every day and sharing plenty of laughs along the way. Some might say that a pelican and a human can't be friends, but clearly, they've never met Jeffrey and Big Bird. They're proof that sometimes the most unlikely of pairs can form the strongest bonds. And who knows, maybe next time you're out fishing, you'll find yourself a new best friend too. Just don't forget to bring some fish, because as Big Bird knows, the quickest way to a friend's heart is through their stomach. Number two, a conversation with Coco. Meet Coco, the gorilla who can speak sign language, understands spoken English, and has been having an intimate conversation with a human for decades. That's right, folks. Coco has been communicating with her human friends for over 40 years. And it's not just simple chit-chat. Coco is fluent in American Sign Language and has a vocabulary of over 1,000 words. That's more than most people I know. <laughs> but Coco's not just a one-trick gorilla. She's not just asking for bananas and back rubs. Although, who wouldn't want those? No, Coco is also creative and emotional. She's got feelings, people, and they're complex, human-like emotions. And you thought your conversations with your pets were deep? Imagine having a heart-to-heart -heart with a gorilla who understands you on a level most humans can't even fathom. That's some next-level communication right there. So next time you're feeling down, just remember that somewhere out there, Coco is having an intimate conversation with a human and probably making some hilarious gorilla jokes. Number one, the man plays with hyenas. When we think of hyenas, most of us imagine them as cruel and vicious scavengers. But not Kevin Richardson. Yep, it's our man Kevin, and he's at it again. This time with hyenas, the South African animal behaviorist has turned the tables on the animal kingdom and earned the love and trust of his unlikely companions. His pack of spotted hyenas who live with him on a wildlife sanctuary greet him with open jaws and wagging tails. Richardson is a master of hyena body language and knows how to establish his dominance in their pack. But it's not all about asserting authority over these furry friends. He also shows them affection as evidenced by their enthusiastic nips and belly rubs. If you're thinking about adopting a hyena of your own, there are a few things you should first know. These are not your typical house pets. For one thing, they have a powerful jaw that can crush bones with 1,000 pounds of pressure, okay? And for another, they're notoriously flatulent. So if you don't want to be stuck with a stinky hyena, be sure to stock up on some heavy duty air freshener. In the meantime, we'll leave the hyena training to the experts like Kevin Richardson, who can handle these wild animals with ease. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We've seen some incredible examples of the bond that can form between different species and their human friends. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you ever had an unlikely animal friend? What's your favorite animal in the whole world? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right meow.